I remember the first time that we came to the Warner Brothers lot, we had moved here from L.A., we came to the Warner Brothers lot, you guys were shooting, I think, Hangover 2, right next door. Right, yeah, in 16, right? Yeah, yeah. and I was thinking about it. You were right across, uh, really, just this narrow alley from us, and I was thinking about it. You've had this amazing career, four Oscar nominations, but I bet still, when you walk through an airport, people are hounding you still about Hangover, right? A little bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that's true. Because those yeah. movies are, I mean, they yeah. hold up, and they're out, they're playing constantly. Yeah, I was in, uh, what's that? <laughs> yeah. It's that guy that just keeps trying to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I was in, uh, we just finished this regional tour and uh, where you go around the country, which is actually my favorite part to actually take the movie and go to cities. Right. And at the hotel, Hangover 3 was on, and I watched it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's so funny because that's what anyone else would do. It's just weird that you're doing it, you know? <laughs> hey, look, okay. uh, I'm in the movie I'm in. I'll check it out. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. And it holds up. Yeah, uh, Mr. Chow was so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that character. That's hilarious. <laughs> he might crush yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ken Jeong crushed it. Uh, you have, uh, in this film, I think one of the reasons, one of the things that... Can I interrupt you one more time? Yeah, Sorry, sure. You're being a real dick, <laughs> by the way. No, the other thing I just... I'm proud yeah. of Cooper. Right, right. And I've got something else <laughs> yeah. to say. Somebody, know, what, somebody's <laughs> become a real director. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, when uh, I was just thinking about uh, when I did this movie, American Sniper, where I played Chris Kyle, yes. and he came wow. on your show. He had been... Yeah. And he had been on our he had been on our show. That's right. Yeah, he came on your show, and I watched it because when I was because I didn't have the good fortune of meeting with him. I only talked right. to him on the phone once, right. and uh, so I watched that interview so many times. And that was actually a great interview. It was he was terrific. Yeah, he was a, a, a terrific guest. And uh, when when he passed, that was it was it's always shocking when someone's on the show and they go way too early. It's a shocking thing. But I remembered him being a terrific interview. Yeah, yeah. And so that's that's interesting that. I mean, I watched it like a hundred times, that interview, yeah. Was... So, so you must have picked up on every one of my ticks. Every one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy's got thin lips. Uh... That's not a tick. No, no, that's not a tick. That's a <laughs> horrible thing I was born with. Uh... You and me both, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Neither one of us this can get the ladies, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Puffy Lips. Uh... <laughs> Yes. I don't know. We, I, I really wouldn't have, I wouldn't yeah. have known. Andy's got so much shit injected into his lips. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm like the Octomom. Yeah. 